Greetings everyone, Ajon here, another Reller 3 replay, spawn on the bottom right side. As a Magic uh, Empire player, we have Selene 99. Spawn on the left side as the Green Allies player, we have Happy Wings. Spawn on the left side as the Blue Allies player, we have Never Cheese. Spawn on the left side, North, Left, Right, Northwest side as the Orange Trifecta Allied player, we have King Kong. Tilda. Spawn on the right side as the red allies player. We have AFD FG uh, home row keys. That's just the home row keys minus the L, and there's a period there. What the heck? And spawn on the left right side as the yellow allies player. We have Ismail. So there's only. One person that's not allies player. And that is an Empire player located right here. That's the first person we covered. Dogs. Dog paddling in the water. We'll get a scout off here. He'll spot that this person's allies. Go on the south side with the two dojos. The dojo player, the empire player, will spot he's facing against allies. And there is a laser lock coming out. He's trying try to go for that uh, refinery. This dojo just going to try crushing the what's it called javelin troops. And he may stall out on time, but there's another dog here. Does water away the dog in time. Laser locking. It's. Maybe they'd find a brief window up there. And here comes the engineer and captures it. The dog was a bit too late. When the dojo is pushing over here, he should set the dog in. Imperial Warrior does kill off the uh, dog. And more Imperial Warriors will start to stream on in, which they will have a good time for those javelin troops, that's for sure. And this could be for reinforcements as well. And what is this? There's a huge line of peacekeepers. It looks like the orange is going to have a uh, tough time against hit this assault. Though he could pull out a multi gun turret, load up the peacekeeper, and lock it down. It looks like dog ate the dog. And he'd be swimming with the fishies. And blue captured purple's uh, oil baron. It does crush one of those Imperial Warriors there. The rest of them just want to try to force their way forward. There is one Tank Buster here, so that's good. Anti-vehicle damage. Up north, you got uh, lots of shotguns. Support by Multigun first. Fire red. Orange does not... Oh, Orange does take time to fly out more gunner of its own. But his MCB is quite wounded. Many has sent that to the... Uh, to his war factory. Or his naval yard, actually, looks like. He has. In order to get that repaired up. Yellow has deployed out a dog. And Green has a soul destroyer onto the Empire's uh, line. Good amount of walls here. More javelin troops on board. Purple is just being overwhelmed by... Oh, and green and blue are trying to gain up on on him. Yellow has deployed a smoke gun turret here. More and more walls coming down, so he's maximizing his wall placement. Very nice. But this assault destroyer from force can just crush them. Going for the uh Mecha Bay. Red has deployed out a barracks here. It is body block. Going to sell it off for any or peacekeeper and dog. Dog gets crushed or shot, one of the two. And the refinery does go down. Jack Tingu or Mecha Tingu's are here. He could potentially throw his uh, Imperial Warrior inside the Multigun turret to engage those javelins. You can do that, right, with allies. Oh, here, peacekeeper advance hitting the power plant. And it looks like Yellow is just low on power. Taking that power plant is actually very important. Power plant's on the way, but... Purple has stabilized. Perhaps a couple of the Fender cores may be useful. 
those teammate aceman to place block javelins. Red has sells the Mordecai Turk in his teammate's face. Oh, blue has the Mordecai Turk here, but it looks like red is deployed out of his own Mordecai Turk, so he should get one out. Green has Mordecai Turk here, but it's currently walled off. And lays a lock javelins for to support out to help clean up this Mordecai Turk. Up north, we've got a huge wave of injury by team right side. Catch up a mustard, pushing the way forward. Has one more multi-gun turrets here. Orange has three multi-gunner turrets. As well as two assault destroyers and ACVs. So he, Orange he can hold this area no problem. Blue has this MCV laser lock. Does cancel there. Does get a uh, cryo shot there. Gale's busy. Might be somewhere else. Two multi-gunner turrets coming out by the left side. So there's a conjoined assault here. Maybe Wave Force Towers wouldn't be half bad, but he has to go for our mainframe force then. Good cryo shot there, but not capitalize on it. This mode gun hurts here, trying to prevent this other stuff from falling. Another cryo shot there. There's gonna be three cryo shots on the left side. And three cryo get -ins. Red is trying to push forward, support his teammate. He's looking red perhaps so I just not going for a super aggressive sign for bombing strikes to keep his full opponent from his face and trying to support his teammate in the south. Yellow has infrastructure a bit of everywhere, including naval dockyard. And I'm not joking when I'm saying the Wave Force Tower here probably wouldn't be half bad trying to deal with all these multi-gunner turrets that they've been deploying on out. Up north, got a massive amount of infantry here. He's a laser block on the ground over to get some of those uh, rockets and those assault destroyers. Or hitting those uh, looking on turrets. All the assault destroyers are now down. The team on the right side, it looks like Apollo may have went down, not sure who's. I think it was team left side. Ooh, he's loaded up that uh, turret with a multi with uh, peacekeeper. The shotgun on the fed comes from the center of it. That's annoying. Red setting is uh, vindicators. Cryo shot on top of Red's motor gun turret. Green has it in some Apollo interceptors. Does get one of his, uh, no, he gets clearly unfrozen. Lone Gun Turret is down, so no more anti aircraft in the region, but the airfield's going down. Blue's forward base is getting crashed, but we've got this multi gun turret loaded with a peacekeeper ripping apart these units. Trying to support the tank buses. Good micro there, but just too much. Oh, on the north side, you got assault destroyers coming ready to support out this infantry. But he has already the laser lock in the ground, trying to get some missiles into that uh, assault destroyer. More peacekeeper put. Only gun turret, but does play off that one for crowd shot. Dale's MCB is advancing, but falling a little bit well. On the south, the Empire player is starting to recover. He needs perhaps another this refining location because he's only on two refineries. Does crush out some of these peacekeepers. Uh, so many vindicators, and the Empire player doesn't really have any. He needs striker VXs to deal with those. Even then, they're not super great. What was that? Is he trying to shrink up the not. A building. Command 
health will go down. Yellow doesn't have a whole lot. Bo needs some multi gun hurts. Yellow has to do two follows here, but it's gonna be overwhelmed. It does bomb the Vindicator on the airfield. And that recon run will spot everything that's infantry advancing. That's gonna be a great crowd shot. That's gonna be a lot of dead guys. He's trying to get this uh piece of purple road, but needs us to just keep it there because it has higher rate of fire. Ooh, that was a lot dead. Green still has build radius. Well, definitely has build radius now. The Empire's been bullied by so many multi-gun turrets. He's not, he can't he just handle any able to stabilize the region. Red is going to make advances to track blue and green and to support their northern ally. Orange can just move. Oh, 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 oh. He does escape out most of the stuff. This uh, MCB may go down. Does two assault destroyers help chase it? And Orange has lost his MCB. Magenta is trying to hold on. He just needs Wave Force. Uh, trying to deploy this next to his barracks. I think there's going to be an engineer popping out. Yeah, engineers popped out. Cast repairs MCB. Blue has two naval dockyards here. Only one riptide here. Two weapon jamming hydro poles, which needs to target some other targets. The higher production here, so he's going to get that area, this area cracked from yellow. Up north. Crowd shot come on board and does crush those units with this ore collector. Dockyard will go down. We're seeing some salt destroyers in this here. Magenta is going to try to evacuate. His teammate has cleaned this area, but this area is unsecure and potentially then could expand over here. But Magenta just has to escape on out there. It's been turret pushed. He never had turrets of his own. Even then, those Vindicators will probably pick those away and give those Wave Force powers that I mentioned earlier. Red is cracking the rear. We'll lose Numbers Infantry. Two, two cryo shots come on the floor. Oh, and the Black Hole Armor saves his units from being uh, frozen down. Very, very good. I forgot about that part. If he's just trying to advance, trying to kill off that uh, barracks with the laser locks. This area is now cracked. Red clean up. We will clean up the ground infrastructure from blue. Maybe clean up those naval dockyards. Two hydrofoils here. Yellow's an ACV slowly picking that away. Magenta has escaped out with a single and has deployed out a single ore refinery. He can he's trying to deploy out another ore collector here, but maybe he's just out of income at the moment. Spending all of his own ore refinery. And this is a safe expansion currently. That is a heroic assault destroyer, which means he's able to stand a lot of beating and heal up. These, uh, but won't be able to heal, heal that turret. He needs to get some laser locks in order to reach over here. Yellow's pushing forward with his hydro foils. Red needs to get over here with his assault destroyer, but that's a lot of short destroyers over here. There's enough javelin troops here to force this area away. This area is partially cracked. Aircraft carrier, fully heroic. Yellow could plant this oil derrick and perhaps capture this uh, ore refinery. Uh, Magenta. He may have lost that ore refinery. What does Magenta have? Can he sell? He needs to sell these power generators and all of his wall subgates, and then he may have enough to get out ore collector. Right now, he could be just trying to stay in the game, just so we can call him support powers to support his teammates. That's definitely worth the trying to stay in the game. He can also pass, take his MCD and start deploying out the front lines in order to 
by build radius. Small build radius, but some build radius. Yellow doesn't have a whole lot of infrastructure left, but he has captured this uh, ore refinery. Red's making his advance. Does have Athena and Mirage tanks. Trying to freeze uh, the Empire's MCV. Has not bothered trying to sell off all the infrastructures just yet. Is he deploying on walls? Or is that going to be a defender core? Must be walls somewhere. Oh, he has an ore refinery right here. I'm not sure how on earth that got there. But any income is valuable for him at the moment. So he's currently deploying out walls, trying to protect out this now refining ore collector as well. Boom. Now he has two base income. Though this area is a bit tenuous, maybe a defender core? His teammate can support and either could get any aircraft. Naval dockyard coming on out. Deploying it over here would be relatively safe. This region is not safe. He's going to need tsunami tanks to help support that area and sea wings. This refining will be, has been spotted. He's down to one refinery income once again. A spy. That spy is not one of theirs. Stole an aircraft carrier. I'm guessing that's a stolen aircraft carrier. Blue doesn't have a whole lot of infrastructure left. It has some structures here. Does Blue even have a refinery? I don't think so. He does have two oil derricks, and there's a refinery here, so he does have good, at least some income. Not a huge income, but some. Cryo getting coming forward. Freezes all that energy except for these handful. And this is gonna be crushing force. Freezes on one of the javelins right there. But the blue will lose the, this refinery and like this oil derrick as well. It does sell it off the last moment, so blue's on down to one oil derrick or two oil derrick income at the moment. It does have some scattered buildings across the map. Jammers are here. So Dora Shori will start sieging Blue's MCV. Red is going to clear out Magenta's only refining location. This area actually didn't actually take out the refinery itself, so it made it rebuild. Got Athena here, Mirage takes, cracks that bay, that income, which that's pretty close to his potent income. Magenta has now a significant amount of breathing room, has a naval dockyard, probably teching up to the uh, tier two. Up north, red is engaging blue. And overall, I can say I didn't really do a good job of casting this match. I've been a bit scatterbrained trying to figure out who has what left. Green has deployed out and... Is that gonna be Engineer? There is a multi gunner turret here. Engineer trying to claim that EFU, but does get the kill on it with one of the heroic vindicators. Over here, Blue's MCV was destroyed. No, Blue has an MCV up here. Wait, how did that get up there? And he had a second MCV this entire time? But we captured that. But we didn't capture that. A second green. Camp is now out on the field. Third blue camp's out on the field. It shows that uh, blue camp. There's a lot of veterans on these uh, vindicators. They have three heroic vindicators. The one does get destroyed in the airfield. They take it off. Very dangerous storm. Free some of his allies' structures with that. Yep, he throws a lot of his allies' uh, 
lot of allied structure there. And team left side has surrendered. Yeah, I did not do a good job casting that replay. 3v3 is so chaotic, sometimes it's hard to cast everything. By the way, this is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.